The double standards of Tiger terrorist leader Velopole Prabhagaran has been revealed, with growing evidence indicating the Tiger Supremo had led a luxurious life but risked the lives of innocent Tamil civilians. The LTTE chief provided education for his children in European universities, while forcibly conscripting children in the north to be trained as child combatants. This report has been filed by Rupa Wahini Special Correspondent Saman Kumar Rama Wickrama from the Wandi Battlefront. Me? This is the photograph of the daughter of LTD leader Velapule Prabhagaran, Dwara Prabhagaran. This photograph provides a rare opportunity for a majority of Tamils as well as Sinhalese who have never seen the children of Prabhagaran. In this photograph, Dwara is seen carrying a rose. Although the Tiger leader stands accused of having put T-56 and cyanide capsules in the hands of youth in the north to fight for a lost cause. Duara Prabhagaran, who was born in 1986 in Madras, had received her preliminary and secondary education in Kilinochi. Usas Pilanakwa Adihapene Levi Kinochi Prabhakaran Giha, Oge Bidindu Maduadinigi, Vedimahal Puta, Charles. This is a photograph of Prabhakaran and his wife Maduandi's eldest son, Charles Anthony. Charles had, according to reports, studied at the GC advanced level and had led a reasonably luxurious life in the Wani. But most of his life was spent in England and other European countries. Now, several documents and photographs, as well as personal letters of Prabhagran recovered by troops, clearly indicated that the LTD leader led a secret life hidden from the rest of the world. Prabhagran, who was not engaged in any known livelihood, had been able to provide luxury facilities for his children, Charles Anthony and Duhara since their childhood. The Tiger leader had collected ransom and held assets of Tamil civilians but always pledged to liberate the Tamils. These are believed to be the toys owned by a young Charles Anthony. It indicates some say a happy life enjoyed by Prabhagavan's children. All this while Tamil children who lost the love and affection of their parents were leading destitute lives at camps like St. Jolay. Prabhagran stands blamed for providing guns to the Tamil children of the Wani instead of pens while providing computers for his children. Also found among the personal effects of the family were Prabhagran's children's education certificates. And their education appears was not quite disrupted due to the war or any other reason. Dora Prabhagran, who sat for the GC advanced level examination in the science stream for the first time in 2005 and the second time in 2006, had been able to obtain credit passes in all three subjects during her second attempt. Charles Anthony, who sat for the GC advanced level examination also in the science stream in 2004, received an A pass and two simple passes. Duhara Prabhagran was selected to further her higher education at the Sabrakama University first and later at Jaffna University. She even registered to undergo studies at the Jaffna University for an agriculture degree, but had later, along with her brother Charles Anthony, completed their studies in universities in England. The future of the innocent Wani children, along with the love of their parents and their education, were forcibly taken away from them by Prabhagran.